cunning can lead you to victory, even when the competition is fierce. On the island of Madagascar, the undergrowth rings with eerie calls. They come from lemurs, known as the ghosts of the forest. Ringtail lemurs are lean and athletic, built for leaping over nine meters from tree to tree. They stand around 45 centimeters tall and weigh less than four kilograms. Scaled up to human size, they'd be 1.8 meters and 14 and a half kilograms. Tails are around a half meter long and are flight stabilizers, helping them glide through the trees. Ringtail lemurs live in troops of up to 25, and the females are in charge, headed by a warrior queen. Adult lemurs are armed with sharp claws and long slashing canines. The females use them in bitter brawls with rival troops and in vicious fights to rise up the pecking order. The handful of males in a lemur troop are at the bottom of the heap. They're happiest just chilling, taken in the rays. But they are vital to the troop for breeding. When a female is ready, she may mate with all the troop's males. But the question is who's first? This lemur is feeling lucky because he smells. And supremacy is decided by a stink off. The male lemurs emit a pungent liquid from a gland in their wrist and rub it into their tails. Then they waft it towards their love rivals. Stinky has the champion stench, so wins the chance to mate first. But a rival interrupts him. He overrules the owner's rule and challenges Stinky to a real fight. It's Kung Fu combat, flying kicks as the lemurs jump fight. Stinky's tail helps him twist as he kicks. The rule breaker aims for an appropriate target, the crown jewels. But Stinky gets in a headshot. The rule breaker needs to change tactics. Soften him up with a body slam, then keep him on the deck. He takes Stinky down and brings his teeth into play. He strips the flesh clean away. Stinky's savaged hand is a technical knockout. His rival senses victory and claims his mating rights. Stinky is down, but not out. He can't fight, but he wants justice. He swings back into the trees and tempts his rival to break off the nuptials and give chase. A third male spots his chance and sneaks in to bag first mating rights. Stinky's revenge is complete and he lives to mate another day.